8. This is Mrs. Bratchard. In this lesson, you're going to learn about formatting pictures. We're going to learn about various techniques such as resizing, rotating, styling, and applying effects. First thing that we want to do is insert a picture. You can choose online pictures or a picture that you've already got saved on your drive. We're going to insert that right into the cell. And this picture is too large, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the corners and resize it. until I get it the size that I like. Another option for resizing is in this top right hand corner. At that point I can copy and I'm going to choose to paste it as a picture and now it will repaste in the new size. You can choose to use different pictures but it doesn't matter if you use the same one. Uh, one cool thing that we can do is there are preset styles up here. These are all our preset styles. Choose a different one for each picture. What's nice is that you can hover over them and they will give you a preview of what they look like. You can also apply picture effects. So I want you guys to insert your same picture again here. So you would remove the picture of the horse, paste in your picture. If you need to resize it again, you can. And in here we're going to do shadows, reflections, glows, soft edges, bevels, and 3D rotation. So to find picture effects, you go up here to the format tab picture styles group picture effects we have shadows but they don't give you options for color right away so I'm gonna pick a shadow but if I want it to be a certain color I'm gonna to go to shadow options and this is where it's gonna allow me to choose a color so I can pick some kind of a green color and now I have a green shadow instead of a black shadow um, same thing here you'd want to delete my picture paste in your picture if it's too large you can resize it either by doing it manually or in the corner. I'm going to go back to my format tab and this one I'm going to add a reflection. And if you want more options for reflections you click reflection options and it's going to give you even more options. So my advanced users can really play around with these options down here. Same thing for glow is under picture effects. You can choose one of their preset glows. You can even pick the color that you prefer. My advanced users might want to click on glow options and explore how you can customize those glow features. Same thing for soft edges, bevel, and rotation. It's all under picture effects. And if you want to customize it, you click the options at the bottom. To resize a graphic, and this one we're going to scale it 100%, 75, 50, and then give it a specific size. So you would delete my pictures here, paste in your own, and I'm just going to paste in this picture in all of the cells. So currently they're all at 100%. And then we're just going to scale them. So we're going to go over here to the size group, click on the dialog box launcher. And you're going to see scale down at the bottom. Currently I'm at 100%. This is where you want to knock that down to 75. And I've now scaled that. Same thing for this one. To customize this to an exact size, you can start by trying to type in the size up here. So it's asking for 0.3. But then when I go to change the second one to 0.42, if yours does not allow you to do that, you just need to click on the dialog box launcher and make sure that you tell it to unlock that. So that way you might distort your picture a little bit, but you're learning that you can give it a custom size if you need to. Down here we're going to apply custom picture borders. The steps are right here, Format, Picture Styles, Border Button. So we're going to move back up here, Format, Picture Styles, and we have a Border Button. You can just pick a border color. You can also choose a certain weight, like it specifies in the second one. You can also choose a certain type of border. We've got dashed, dotted, any of those. So that's how you do borders. To adjust picture color, it's the format tab, adjust group, and under color, you have all types of different options for color. So you choose what you want to do. Do one saturation, one tone, one recolor. So to find tone, 
it says color tone here's recolor here's saturation artistic effects are right here if you're an advanced user go ahead and click the artistic effects option and see what you can do with it and removing a background so I'm going to go ahead and paste in my image so you can get a better idea maybe make it a little larger I'm going to click remove background whatever's purple is what it plans on getting rid of so I'm going to go ahead and resize this box so that I can get my full image and it started to add some back in that I don't want so I'm going to say mark areas to remove you can either click or you can draw lines whatever works to help you get rid of that area and it looks like I've got it just how I need and once you think you've done it you just hit keep all changes and it's now removed the background of that giraffe down here we're going to do text strapping this is a review from your previous lesson when you learned about it in shapes it's the same process you can click this little icon called layout options beside your picture and you can choose the text wrapping you want or you can go up into the ribbon and choose wrap text and choose the text wrapping that you prefer and that is formatting pictures